coach tough tough tournament last weekend at Western Carolina kind of catch us up on that tournament and and uh, played Alabama State on Wednesday night to kind of catch us up on those three matches and uh, you know tell us uh, how the team is uh, coming out of those three matches. Um, I think the tournament at Western Carolina. Uh, I mean, both opponents, Western and Elon, were um, good for us going into the OVC to have right at the end of our non-conference season. Um, you know, again, you know, trying to get some success on the road has has been difficult. Uh, the conditions there with the weather made things a little bit more difficult as well, and so we had to deal with a lot of adversity uh, that weekend. And I thought, uh, for as young as our team is. Um, and as with many newcomers as we, as we have been playing, um, I thought they did a good job. I thought they played respectably well. Um, I think, you know, against good teams like Western, we need to um, continue to improve our speed of play and executing into the final third. Uh, that's just something we've continually had to work on uh, throughout the season against uh, really good opponents. Um, you know, Elon was a great opportunity. I thought our kids fought hard uh, to take us into overtime. Um, they did what we asked them to do, which was to turn the games around in the second half, and I thought our teams in both games came out and dominated in the second half of both games. And, you know, to take Elon to overtime, you know, it's unfortunate the way that it, the result ended, but I think on the flip side, if, if we, it was on the other end, uh, that would have definitely been a great teaching moment in the game um, uh, for, of success for, for our younger players. And, um, you know, but it was a tough weekend, and, you know, we knew that going in uh, with the conditions, and, um, you know, I thought the players handled it well. I mean, we had a good time. We, you know, on the road is always an opportunity for a team to build its cohesiveness, um, and so they did a good job of that. Uh, the Alabama State game obviously is a great opportunity to just, you know, top the non-conference season off, get a good win, uh, get a lot of players that haven't had a lot of minutes and opportunity to play um, and to see some things that they can do and improve them and be able to coach them in a game situation uh, to get them some experience. And, you know, it was a good way to go out non-conference uh, with a winning record, which is what our goals were. Um, you know, the losses overall, um, you know, were respectable ones. You know, obviously we would have liked the results to come out differently, but I think that, you know, they were games that we could have won. They were winnable, and, you know, I think we keep that in the back of our minds going into the conference, uh, knowing that we've had a good start to the year. This weekend's a big weekend, um, you know, opening with Murray State, who were regular season champs last year. Uh, they've had a good non-conference schedule, uh, as of we have. Um, they've got some new players that they've brought in, um, you know, that we don't know much about. And so we need to do a good job of just controlling the tempo of the match the way we want to do it. Um, so we're excited about the weekend. So I think, um, you know, we're at home. And, you know, the last... You know, last time we were home, we've fl we've played well at home, and we've generated a lot of offense at home, and so I think that's, you know, I think our kids are fired up, they're pumped up about it. Very important, you got Murray State, and then on Sunday, UT Martin, so it's two uh, upper level teams in the league that that you got mm -hmm. at home to to play this weekend. Well, they're both respectable sides. They both have had strong non conference schedules. Uh, they've both been staying in games. Uh, as of recent, and I think, you know, I think we're always in an advantage at home. There's always a home advantage in a lot of ways, and so, you know, those teams that are on the road like that, they have to play up to that, and so we have to make sure we capitalize on our opportunities. Um, you know, we don't get complacent, uh, and we get hungry for that regular season championship, and we are just have to take one game at a time over the weekend. Uh, real quick, Allie. Coney got player at goalkeeper of the week. It was their second honor. Um, despite uh, the results of the tournament, uh, you had referred to that she made some great saves and goals and really kept, really had a good tournament and result made all tournament and then was player of the week this week. Just kind of comment on her real quick. Uh, yes, uh, Ali had a phenomenal weekend. Um, you know, as I said earlier, with the weather conditions, as wet as it was, 
you know, she did a very good job of holding on to the ball. And, you know, we saw some sloppy goalkeeping um, generally at the tournaments, you know, balls being dropped, things like that. And some of the balls that she held on to, um, you know, that you would tend to see a goalkeeper in those conditions not hang on to at times and, and it get a little um, sloppy. She did a very good job of holding on to the ball. She came up big a couple of times on set pieces, punching balls out of traffic, um, you know, she did her job. She kept the ball out of the net, and at the end of the day, that's what we asked them to do. You know, it doesn't have to be picture perfect, um, you know, but she's getting the job done for us right now. Uh, her communication um, is getting much better. Uh, she's a very poised. She's maturing in this role very quickly, and, you know, um, you know, and being a freshman, there's still things that you know, you're always going to have to work on, uh, but I think we're going to see some big things from Allie Koenig, you know, and, you know, the Alabama State game, we were able to, to rest her a little bit, get Caitlin getting some minutes, um, which was a great opportunity for her, and, you know, I think our goalkeeping area is very good right now, and it's very good across the conference, but I do think Allie is going to step up big under pressure, and she does well under pressure. She's a very focused young lady, and so we're I can't say enough of good things for what she did in the Western Tournament. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm.